Greetings again. I decided not to leave my pajamas for this particular tasting again because it's my day off. I can do what I want. I'm dipping into three Georgian teas. This is the first time I've dipped into them at all, so this is a first impression completely. Uh, first one is a black, second one is a green, third one is cranberry leaf that was oxidized like a black tea. I brewed the uh, cranberry leaf and the black tea, uh, pretty much like a black tea, boiled water, three minutes. Green tea, about 175, 180, three minutes. And first impressions, totally first impressions. Mm. Okay, black tea, definitely a black tea. Uh, wood sweet like a kimon, which I like. A little bit of malt in the top note, not too much malt, and then it trails off into, uh, I wouldn't say cream, I'd say more of a like a like a buttery roller coaster. Hmm. Forgive the sniffling, I'm still recovering from a cold. Hmm. Green tea is definitely like a lot of Chinese green teas I've had, but not on the grassy end of things. More like uh, more like Spring Long Jing territory. More on the whiny side, more than the grassy side, and definitely not vegetal at all. Hmm. The finish reminds me of a reminds me of a, a Korean sejak. Actually, yeah, maybe maybe a dayjack actually. Uh, definitely a sweet, and not as buttery as the black tea, but a creamy end there. Um, Nothing that basically says that it came from an herb or a vegetable. <laughs> hibiscus wine. <laughs> the cranberry leaf tastes like hibiscus wine. It has a very, very uh, uh, whiny sort of tannic bite, but uh, the hibiscus tartness. <laughs> Favorite, I gotta go with the black tea, and then just for unusual, just for the uh, the weirdness of it, cranberry in second, and the green tea I could drink every day. <laughs>